Hi, I'm Anastasia from Tech City News and this is your Week in Tech. Today we're at Runway East, a brand new co-working space for e-commerce and hardware right in the heart of Shoreditch. It's been a bumper week for the world of tech investment. Music travel startup Fest Ticket were one of our winners in the International Hall of Fame and this week raised an incredible $2.7 million. Music startup Duke Deck and recruitment startup Job Post have also raised just under a million dollars. And Property Partner has raised a huge $2 million seed round before even launching. Their investors will be hoping they take a sizable chunk of Britain's $5 trillion property market. One size no longer fits all, as Apple finally launched the long-awaited iPhone 6 and frankly huge 6 Plus. Other than larger screens, there wasn't a huge amount to get excited about. Apple's new payment service, however, was the big surprise. It offers contactless payments, but with the increased security of a fingerprint scanner. You can pay for your Starbucks or Big Mac with just one tap. And something tells us this is just the beginning. And the much-hyped iWatch became the Apple Watch. But did it live up to the hype? They're calling it their most personal device ever, with a focus on fitness, fashion, and communication. The onboard sensors monitor your health, and you can even use it to pay for things with the integrated Apple Pay. Sadly, you'll have to wait for 2015 to get your hands on it. Today, Containerville launches their competition to win office space for a year. Their new workspace can be found near Regent's Canal and Broadway Market. Enter now for your chance to win a container of your own. Another huge European exit is on the horizon as Microsoft prepared to buy the game studio behind Minecraft for a rumoured $2 billion. The Swedish company has sold over 54 million copies of the game and this would be Satya Nadella's first major acquisition since becoming Microsoft's CEO last year. Reactions have been mixed with many asking why Microsoft are investing in games. Look out for what they do next. Our download of the week is Dark Sky, tech's answer to coping with the British weather. The app lets you know if it's going to rain around you in the next hour, saving you from the embarrassment of returning from lunch completely soaked. For the weather geeks amongst us, it also shows you a beautiful world map where you can track precipitation minute by minute. London Fashion Week is upon us again, and to celebrate, we've launched our new print magazine, which is out now. Here's Sinead to tell us more. This is where fashion and tech collide. We've got Kate Unsworth of Covert Designs, Mr. Porter, Tesla, Burberry, and much more. Subscribe now to get your free copy. And finally, I've had my fair share of amusing mistags on Facebook, but this one takes the biscuit. Facebook was adamant that a young man named Fred Benenson was in fact his teenage mother. What's more scary than looking like your parents, though, is Facebook's creepy facial recognition. Remember, Big Brother is watching. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.